Hello, my name is Molly Giannis and I am the founder of Echo Consulting. And uh, today I'm here to talk a little bit about Smartsheet and some of the tips and tricks that we have here at Echo Consulting to help clients adopt Smartsheet and get the full value of this really powerful work management tool. So uh, today we're gonna talk a little bit about version control slash the lack thereof in Smartsheet and some of the workarounds that are available to you uh, to really get back to where a previous version. So you may or may not be familiar that Smartsheet does have the ability to back up. And so in this case, I'll just give you a quick reminder here. If you haven't seen this before, you can request a backup at a single point in time, but you can also schedule a reoccurring backup. And so enable reoccurring backups and then include a Attachments, which is nice. Um, and then if I had reoccurring backups here, I could view my recent backups. If I want to, I can get an email every time it's backed up. It happens once a day for right now. Okay. Um, and then this is kind of the reoccurring one. I could also, for example, come here. I could request a backup at a specific point in time um, so that I could save it in a, another document management system. We have some of our clients and teams that have legal reasons that they have to have a certain backups at a certain point of time and, and things like that. Okay. Um, so you can request a, ba a backup one time um, or at a specific time. So like if you needed to have a backup on a monthly basis or something like that, you could. If you schedule the reoccurring backups, it does happen once a day. Um, and so that's been a while for a while. And then you can go ahead and see recent backups. Um, I just set this one up today, earlier today. However, um, one of the pieces of functionality that we now have that we didn't previously is the ability to look at a snapshot of a single point in time. And that, again, is taking us one step closer to version history, which is what we really want, which is to be able to go back to a previous version of a sheet. As you can imagine, version control is harder in a work management platform than it is in, for example, like in Excel um, or a Word document or something like that. Some of the reasons why version control is so hard in a work management platform are because of some of the reasons that we love Smartsheet and, the, and these platforms, which is the automations, right? Because if you were going back to a previous, ver um, automation, uh, previous version, has the automation run or has the automation not run? Has it connected with some of these other connections that you have and things like that? Who's seen it? Other things like that. So it's much more complicated than a single document. So while we believe that Smartsheet is trying to get us to version control, we are starting to see some of the hints that um, some new functionality is going to be available to us so that if we make a mistake, if we add a bunch of new data and we overwrote something we shouldn't, we can get it back. So as a reminder, if you have updated something, you can already see the full version, the full cell history right here. So this is at a cell level. Just as a reminder, you can view cell history. You can see who made the change, when they made the change, and what it was, what the difference was. In addition, as a reminder, you have the ability to look at the activity log. And the activity log they're really beefing up some of the search capabilities here. I'm finding more and more functionality, which I love. So I can have the date range of when the change was made. I can also apply filters about what types of changes are happening or what types of activity are happening. And I can narrow it down to specific people as well. So all of these are, things are great. So row changes, sheet summary changes, cell changes is typically what I'm looking for. If people added or subtracted columns or maybe they edited in them, um, you know, if you don't have lockdown columns, columns and you have some users that maybe you're, are admins. So again, this can be very, very helpful. However, the piece of functionality I want to mention is that now on these components where it says cell changed, if you go to a specific place where cell changed, you have the ability to request a snapshot. How is this snapshot different than the backup that I just mentioned? Well, the backup I just mentioned that I just showed you guys, you can only do it once a day. It automatically runs, right? It's just this. This snapshot is a point in time, right? Like this snapshot allows me to pull the data. Again, this is not attachments right now. It's only in Excel. So it's only the actual data that are in the columns and then the sheets. But again, step in the right direction. Thank you, Smartsheet. We're looking to, you know, little bit. So if I've maybe messed up my assigned to or messed up my predecessors, for example, like I've started to mess things up. Um, I want to look at a previous version before I made all of these edits. I can go to the activity log. I can go to where I actually sell, you know, made cell changes, right? And I can request a snapshot. 
when I request a snapshot, it's going to send me an email and the email is going to have, let me see if it'll pop up for me, but I do have one up just in case it takes a moment. Sometimes it takes about a minute. If you have a really big sheet, obviously it takes a little bit longer. Um, but anyways, uh, for this case, um, you'll see that I got an email here. So Smartsheet Snapshot Request. Let me go ahead and bring up this email so you can see this beauty here. Um, and then in here, I can see that I have a snapshot right at a specific point in time. And I can see the Excel document that it's pulling, okay? Now, the Excel document is actually going to include the hierarchy and everything like that, but it is not including the attachments or the comments, okay? So really, this is the ability to look at, like, to be able to replace specific information. So in, in this case, I had a client. I, I honestly, what I did was um, I ended up adding a column formula instead of just adding a formula to uh, the parent rows. And I deleted some of the data. And I was like, oh, no. And it was a lot. of It was like 33,000 um, uh, different cells. And so what I was able to do is I took this snapshot at the point before I made the column formula, I was able to copy this information, right? So in this case, I can, you know, copy a specific set of information. You'll see in Excel, right, similar to how you have it in Smartsheet, you are able to collapse and, and add. The way that I do this is I actually make sure that everything is um, fully expanded. And then in Smartsheet, I also want to make sure that I have my filter off and that I have everything expanded. So I go to my primary column um, and I make sure that I've expanded all, which I have. A couple of different things. It's going to export it in the row order that you already have. So if you have made changes to the rows, added rows, like there's lots of different things where this isn't perfect, um, but it does give you a previous version of exactly what the cells were um, beforehand. So again, I can go more into the troubleshooting here if there's a lot of questions on this down the road, but I just want to clarify. So the big benefit, the big value add now is in Smartsheet, in the activity log, I can go, it's not going to let me do it for everything, right? But it's going to let me to go to any of these places that had cells change and they can expand it and I can request a snapshot. This is different than the ability to download changes, okay? This is the activity report. So if I want to see, for example, all cell changes that have happened in the last, I don't know, I, I haven't used this. This is just a template, right? Um, but I can apply these. What it's going to do if I download this is it's just going to give me a report of all of the rows that got updated, right? Um, it's not actually telling, it's not giving me a copy of what my plan was at a point in time. It's telling me it's listing out every single change that was made. So for me, this snapshot is way more powerful because I can actually look at exactly what this looked like um, at a point in time. So not version control. I know um, if you guys want, if I mean, I know that everyone wants version control. If we want version control, definitely um, go ahead and log an enhancement with Smartsheet. Vote it on up. It's great in the community. I know a lot of people are asking for it. All of our enterprise clients need it. Um, but for now, these are the options that you guys have. You do have the ability to look at a, at a snapshot. The snapshot is at a point in time, and it's going to give you exactly what the sheet looked like in terms of the data in the columns at that point in time, okay? So again, my name is Molly Giannis. Um, I'm the founder and a solution consultant here at Echo Consulting. If you are interested in more Smartsheet videos or more work management platform, we also do Monday and Airtable and all sorts of different work management platforms, right? Like really what we do is we do a lot of how to help people work faster, smarter, better, et cetera. So automations, process flows, getting people to really do the work that they love in a more effective way. So if you're interested, check us out, echoprojectmanagement.com. My name is Molly. And um, if you're interested in more videos like this, we have a YouTube channel. Please go ahead and subscribe and you'll get notified when we have new videos. And if you have ideas for videos that we might be able to help with, let us know. Um, and we'll, we'll try to get that out for you. We we're, usually we release videos about every week. So again, Malianis, thanks for joining.